This is Angel's Art Studio. She's so creative. God, I'm jealous. Well, not jealous, I suppose, but definitely appreciative. I'm a pretty good writer, but she's a really talented artist, so we're two halves of the same coin. She even helped me with some art therapy a long time ago. All through college, I was really into World of Warcraft. Yeah, I was a WoW nerd for a very long time, like unhealthily so, like, like addiction levels of playing, no joke. My grades were fine, but when I wasn't in class or at clubs, I was usually sitting in front of my computer instead of enjoying the campus college life. It's kind of embarrassing, really, looking back on it. How could I dump so many hundreds of hours into something and, and not get anything out of it in return? Well, I, I guess entertainment value, but I don't have any trophies or pictures or anything to even prove I touched a keyboard with that game. <laughs> you want to know the levels at which I played World of Warcraft? Okay, let me put it in perspective. In World of Warcraft, you can earn titles for your character by performing certain acts or feats. You know, beating certain bosses, collecting certain treasures... PvP, exploring the whole map, etc, etc. It displays next to your name to tell other people that you've done something pretty amazing. There was a title that I had that was both impressive and sad at the end of the day. It was called The Exalted. So I was Azzy The Exalted. The Exalted title refers to what is called faction reputation. So every city was a faction. Most of the races in the game had factions. Different regions and companies and armies all across the world, they were factions. If you did a quest for a faction, your reputation with them would rise. It would fill up this little bar, and the more times you filled up the bar, the higher your status would be. You would get rewards and discounts to buy items and special doodads and toys and things. It went neutral, friendly, honored, revered, and then finally exalted at the very top. The exalted reputation could take weeks or even months doing the same quests over and over, gathering items and handing them over to get next to no reward. The exalted title at the time was given to players that had 40 factions at exalted. Yeah, 4-0. 40. I had played the game so much that I had maxed out 40 factions in the game. This was during the, uh, the Wrath of the Lich King era, when the game was in its heyday, and getting that many was nearly impossible without playing for hours upon hours upon hours. One day, I, uh, I guess I just leaned back in my chair to have a look at myself in the mirror. I was overweight, I had little dark circles under my eyes in the middle of summer. I was a wreck. During my college dorm summer, I would get up to eat and play WoW, and then eat and then go back to bed. It was honestly pretty pathetic. Now, pulling away from that was hard because I was very much addicted to the game. Angel was my girlfriend at the time, and she helped me pull away from all that with art therapy. Like, I tried to stop, like, cold turkey, and she would have me draw things instead of play the game. I wish I knew where those drawings were. Oh, hey, I thought I heard someone in here. If you're gonna pose nude for me again, Songbird, you're gonna need to come here after work. Honey! Just teasing. I was shuffling some art around the library. This was one of the contenders for the young adult's horror section. What? Really? Yeah, just be happy I painted you in those shorts. You sure weren't wearing them that night. Would you stop? <laughs> I was just talking about the art therapy thing that you helped me with back when I was a WoW addict. Do you still have my old Warcraft drawings? Yeah, I keep everything so they should be around here somewhere. Uh, not that. This drawer? Yeah, here they are. Here, have a look. 
Quitting anything that's a big part of your life cold turkey can be pretty rough. You can even get the shakes. Art therapy is a strong deterrent because it's expressive and hones a skill you may or may not be good at yet. Not only that, but it's time consuming, so if you feel the itch to go back to whatever is making you miserable, that itch can be lessened by the time you're done making a piece of art about your struggle with it. There are actually four things an art therapist will usually try to have their patients draw. I'm not a doctor, but I know enough about them. They are a house, a self-portrait, a person of the opposite sex, and what you fear most. Child psychologists sometimes tell children to draw houses to learn about them. Houses with curtains over the windows mean they like their privacy. Houses with stepping stones or peepholes in the door mean they want visitors. There's a thousand little symbols that will tell you all about the person based on how they draw their house. Self-portraits can tell a lot about a person in the same way. Someone who's very self-conscious about having big feet, for example, may draw their feet very small so you don't notice them. Or someone that spends a lot of time in front of a mirror might draw a huge head with a very expressive face, but a body that's too small or not there at all. Lots of people can't draw hands, so they just hide them behind a character's waist. But it can also mean that the artist is hiding something or doesn't want to be truthful. Drawing someone of the opposite sex is especially good for people suffering from mental instability. It provides a window into what they're thinking. If a young man drew a woman with huge breasts, or in super skimpy clothing, maybe he's just starting to notice girls for the first time in his life. If someone drew a man in some sort of uniform, it could mean that they only see men as figures of power and not to be completely trusted. Much like the house, there are a lot of little symbols and checkboxes that can tell you a lot about how a person really feels. The fears one is pretty self-explanatory. Huh? I guess I'm rambling a little. No, no, you're fine. I like it when you get all passionate about art stuff. It's very cute. <laughs> it, anyway, like I was saying, Angel helped me with some art therapy stuff, and eventually I got away from World of Warcraft entirely. I didn't feel the burning need to log in every day or devote my life to something that was giving me nothing in return but bags under my eyes from staying up all night. I mean, I am an owl, but it was kind of ridiculous, you know? I wasn't sleeping as much as I should have. You lost a lot of weight after you quit that game, too, if I remember right. Did I? Yeah. About 30 pounds. Oh, jeez. Well, I guess that's another way you can see how bad it was, huh? Well, you're okay now. That's what counts, my little songbird. <laughs> uh...